This one's a driver and this is a three. I'll give you 20 bucks for these two. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new episode. I'm heading down to Kobe swap meet once again. Let's see how much stuff we can find. Good morning. How's it going? Good, so far. Day's not over, sun's not out. Yeah, right? <laughs> Get another 45 minutes and everyone's gonna be sweating. <laughs> How did you get an official Kobe scan? What's up? How did you get an official Kobe scan? What, what's your YouTube channel? It's uh, San Diego Picker. Oh, really? Yeah. Check it out. Cool, man. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. You got more stuff you're taking out? I'll swing oh, yeah. back by. Awesome. So third Sunday, you said, so it'll be September 20th? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. How's it going? This is really happening. What do you got on the golf clubs? How much is that? How much? 450? 450? The price is wrong. You're not selling individual at all? No? Not this? Okay. I see two in here I'll give you 20 bucks for that won't destroy the set. Because you got a driver, you got two drivers right here. And then this one's a driver, and this is a three. I'll give you 20 bucks for these two. No? Okay. The whole thing. All right. Well, I'll circle back around. If you change your mind on those two, I'll take them from you. Thanks, man. You do 10 for these? No. These don't come as the set? Oh, it's missing the hat though. Do you know where the hat is? No. You have change for a 20? Yeah. All right, I'll take these two. Mm -hmm. I found her hat, I couldn't find his hat though. Appreciate it, thank you. So I just got back and as you saw, there wasn't a ton of stuff that I was interested in down there. The only thing that I got that was actually super cool, it brings back a lot of childhood memories, are these Toy Story dolls. This is Woody and I think her name is Jessie, I'm pretty sure. You can see they have Andy written down there on the bottom just like in the movie and if you listen really close. They make noise, this one does, and what did she say? <laughs> so that's pretty cool. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through the process of how I list things onto eBay. So you saw me just buy these, you saw how much I bought them for, they were $5 a piece, so $10 total. Now I'm gonna run you through how I go about listing something on eBay so that buyers can check it out and hopefully purchase it. So first things first, you wanna get these all laid out, super nice, you want to make sure and take a bunch of pictures of them. You wanna get every single angle possible so that when the buyer is looking at them, they can see every aspect of the doll. You want to make sure and label if there's anything wrong with the dolls, any tears, any, um, you know, it looks like there might be a little stain here on the back, so we're gonna be sure, and we will put that in the 
listing, uh, the listing description. Um, it looks like they're in really good condition. Another thing that we're going to have to mention is the fact that Woody does not have a hat. That was a little bit of a bummer, but at least we have one of the hats. So I'm going to finish up taking pictures of every angle. I don't want to bore you guys as you watch that entire process, um, but I'm going to get every single angle. And then after that, I'm going to show you how I upload it on to eBay so that buyers can bid and purchase it. Okay, so this next part, I'm not going to edit anything out so that you guys can see exactly how I do this. Um, I'm gonna start off by going to my eBay page. I'm gonna go to list an item. Um, what these are is I'm going to Google it first. So Woody and Jesse, um, I guess, let's see if I put action figure dolls. Let's see what pops up with that. Um, all right, so I guess they're not action figures. Woody and Jesse stuffed figure dolls. Hmm. So sometimes when I search something, it will pop up. Uh, doesn't look like anything is popping up right now. Um, okay, those are kind of cool. Um, let's see, anything else? Hmm. Let's try Toy Story Woody and Jesse doll with pull string. So that's the pull string on the back because they actually make noise. Um, these look pretty close, let's see. No, not quite. Mm. See what other pictures that they have. So this is kind of how I go about listing things. It does take a little bit of research. You just want to make sure that you, you know, do everything so that you are listing them and getting, you know, the, the correct price for them. Uh, let's see. So doll with pole string and removable hats. Um, man, you know, I'm not seeing, oh, here we go. See, this is just Woody, but he doesn't have a hat. Let's see, but that one's going for $28, so that's that's a really great sign. What I'm going to try and do... Okay, so let's go into eBay, and let's see if when I type something in sometimes, it will give me um, an estimated, you know, what it should sell for based off of what things with that title have sold for previously. So what I'm actually going to go do really quick is I'm going to measure the dolls, see how tall they are so that I can add that into the description. So let's see. So, and okay, so those are almost say 15 inches. It's pretty good. So 15 inches, there's nothing else about the doll on the back. All new materials, all new material. Disney Pixar, Disney Store. Ah, okay, so that's a good, a good start. That's kind of what I should have done originally was to look at the tag. So we'll go back, Toy Story, Woody and Jesse doll. Disney slash Pixar Disney store with draw string store talk. Let's see. Let's see what pops up with that. Oh, check that out. Okay. So this looks more like them to me. Um, this one's coming from Orlando, free shipping. This one's brand new. Wow, okay. Yeah, 16 inch dolls, here we go. Okay, so Disney, Pixar, Talking, Toy Story, Woody, and Jesse, 16 inch dolls, pull string. Perfect, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so there's the hat that we couldn't find, unfortunately. 
Great, so Woody alone is going for about 37 bucks. Brand new, looks like it's going for about 95. So what we'll do is we'll copy and we're gonna paste that in here. Um, Disney, Pixar, Talking, Toy Story, Woody, and Jesse Dolls, Pull String, Dolls with Pull String. Okay, let's search that. See, it pops up. Okay, so it doesn't recognize anything, unfortunately. So what we're gonna do is create a new listing. These are clearly used. And then it gives us this option. So Disney, Pixar, Talking, Toy Story, Woody and Jesse, 16 inch dolls with pull string. So the condition is used. Brand is Disney, Pixar, character family, Toy Story. Character is Woody and Jesse. So we're gonna type that in, doll character type. Um, let's just put cowboy. All right, so then the next thing that you do, so we took the pictures with my phone. What we're gonna do is if you click add from mobile device, then pops up on your phone. You can click on that. It will give you the option to go to the photo library. And then this is where you can select all of your pictures. It allows you a maximum of 12. So I'm gonna have to pick the correct ones um those actually look pretty good so we'll add 12 photos done close right so then it'll pop up all the pictures on our listing um, then what it give it offers is the description so that's where we're going to put um Let's see, we'll start with Jesse. Um, we'll put normal wear and tear, but overall good condition. Um, put small stain on back of Woody doll. And Woody doll does not come with Hat. So is there anything else that we noticed? Um, overall, they're both in pretty good condition. Um, voice boxes still work, which is really great. So actually, that's what we're going to put first. So both voice boxes still work and can hear them talk very clearly. So that's pretty important because I feel like if you're going to purchase something like this, you want to make sure that the dolls themselves still make sound. Um, so other than that, I mean, I looked over both the dolls pretty well. Like I said, it's just kind of normal wear and tear that, you know, a, a doll would get over time. They're definitely not brand new. Um, so let's see. So both, yep, there's that stain and Jesse does come with the hat, which is super cool. So next thing we're going to do is the pricing. So this is where, you know, you can kind of take a strategy. As you see, it's a seven day auction. So what happens with that is that the starting bid for the seven day auction is going to be $20 and 70 cents. Now, as people bid on that, the price can increase. But what I've had before is where I've done a starting bid and that's actually what the item is sold for. So I'm not super fond of the auction style items. If I do do that, then I drop the auction duration down to three days just so I can get that uh, over with. If no one ends up bidding on it, then I go over to the buy now. So since these two things are used, um, I'm gonna go over and see what the suggested buy now offer is. So for both of the dolls, the suggested buy now price is $49. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, bump that up to 60, but then I'm going to allow offers. So I'm going to allow offers at a minimum of $30. Since I paid 10 bucks for these, I don't really want to go over getting $30 
for both of them. Um, so let's see. So the buy now price, $60. Um, that'll last for 30 days. After 30 days, it'll give me the option to lower the price if I want to. Um, we only have those two. So we're going to change the shipping. Um, I just kind of guess when it comes to shipping, some people measure out a box that they know that they'll put it in um, and, you know, the, the length and everything. But I just kind of guess something like this, I can't see it being super expensive to ship. So I'm going to go ahead, as you can see here, I have my options already. I either do $5, which is for just standard items, $15 for golf clubs, uh, $7.50 is kind of my go-to on items of this size. And then very rarely I'll do items that are $12.50. That's sometimes if they're a little bit heavier items, because when you package an item, it, it's based on the dimensions of the package as well as the weight. So let's go ahead and do $7.50. What I always do is I preview my listing. So we have Disney, Pixar, Talking, Toy Story, Woody and Jesse, 16 inch dolls with pull string. Uh, those are really good pictures right there. Uh, the buy it now price is $60, but it also allows you to make an offer. Shipping is $7.50. So let's go ahead and list it. Once it's listed, it pops up as successfully listed. It asks you if you want to lower your price after 10 days. I don't ever do that because I like to do it manually, so maybe next time. And then here's the boost. I do boost posts sometimes. What that does is that allows it to be viewed by more potential buyers. Um, they take a profit though, uh, you know, as it says, it takes a 5% of the overall sale. So I'm gonna hit no thanks on that. And there you are, your listing is now live. So if we go down to our selling and we go over to active, and what we can do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. As soon as this loads. And scroll all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And there is our brand new listing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this more of a behind the scenes look as to what it takes after I put purchase the item. So if you enjoyed this or you want more videos like this or have any ideas for new content that I should make, go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know. Also thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and be sure to like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you know when I post my next video and thanks everyone for watching. Thank <laughs> you.